Many Cedar Park teachers have moved to teach new classes, and several of these teachers are now teaching AP level classes. CPHS TV got the opportunity to sit down with two of Cedar Park's newest AP teachers and discuss the differences and difficulties in this change. Um, teaching AP, you get to delve deeper into topics. Um, you get to explore issues that are facing society and really dig deeply into them. So that's a lot of fun. Although AP classes do have the opportunity to discuss societal application, they are still required to work hard to learn the curriculum. Just with the curriculum being more in depth, um, you know, it, it creates a higher standard. In order to adjust to teaching at the college level, teachers needed to spend time working both inside of school and out. Uh, it took a lot of time, a lot of preparation time over the summer, um, you know, time studying in college and in, in career. I used to work in politics as well. So, and a lot of hours for every class. Summer work is not the only preparation required for teaching an AP class. My nose has been stuck in the same book the, the kids have been studying for the past three or four months. Studying the AP textbook allows teachers to ensure that they are incorporating the students' reading with class discussion, and it's not always easy. It's tough. I, I love what I do, and it doesn't feel like it's demanding at all, but, you know, there's difficult parts. Uh, grading essays is not always the easiest thing. Cedar Park's AP teachers have worked hard to prepare students for college-level courses, and although it requires large amounts of time and isn't always easy, CPHS faculty is always ready to help their students achieve success on the AP exam in May. With CPHS TV, I'm Andrew Butler.